More than 2,000 miles away, the problem is quite the opposite. There's too much water in Washington, D.C. And the city is beginning to drown. Life after people here in Washington, D.C. along the Potomac River will be a very different place. Water levels will be higher, floods will be greater, because more of that water is now flowing through the river rather than being taken away for showers and for bathing and for drinking water in Washington, D.C. The failure of electric pumps beneath the city unleashes a deluge from the water aquifers, flooding the streets. One problem with Washington, D.C. is that it was built with permanent-looking architecture on a swamp. When the first settlers traveled up the Chesapeake Bay and came ashore, Washington, D.C. was marshland. Beaver dams shaped the Potomac River, creating huge wetlands. In the time of humans, park service rangers trapped and relocated the beavers that gnawed on the city's famous cherry trees. Now, the beavers are planning a return to power. Over the last century, the beavers have been busy. New tree growth on the National Mall allows them to build dams and cut new water channels from the flooding Potomac River.